Uh, so this is Bjarne Straustrup. Anyone know who this gentleman is? Okay, uh, yes, so uh, I, I have a spoiler right here on the slide. He's the, the creator of C++, but he's also the creator of another programming language, which he created before C++. Anyone know what that was called? C with classes. This language uh, had a very specific goal. It was to have C, but with classes. And uh, actually, it's not, it's not quite true. It was C with classes, but also like a stronger type system. He wanted like, to make the type checker a little bit uh, stronger. Um, so he gave this interview where he kind of explains his, like, his thought process and what he was doing. And he was like, why did I want to add classes to C? Well, Strasbourg had actually used Simula personally in a previous job when he, when he was working at this company where he's like, I want to use C uh, and I want to use um, like something nicer than, than C for like, modeling my domain. Um, I just like, want to be able to get more organized. And he was like, yeah, you know what? I thought classes were pretty good when I was using them in the Simula days. I really like that. Um, and so I'm just going to try and uh, bring that in. So he does. He makes C with classes. And then he runs into a problem which is that C with classes is what he calls a medium success. And the problem with being a medium success, as he explains, is that it's like, OK, so this works. I got a few people using it, a couple of users. It's pretty nice. They're happy with it. Uh, the problem is that uh, I'm the only maintainer. And there's too few of us to spread the maintenance burden around. And so I'm kind of in a pickle. Like on the one hand, I could just say, well, I don't want to maintain this for the rest of my life. I'm just going to walk away and abandon it. But then all the people who are using it are my friends. so. I don't want to do that. And he's like, so what do I do? He's like, well, the only other option seems to be maybe I'll just like add more features so it'll be more useful to more people. And then maybe it'll get popular enough that I can find some other maintainers. So he does that. He adds the additional non-object oriented features and renames the language to C++. And it became slightly more popular. Um, <laughs> and, and it still maintained this whole like drop in C replacement thing, right? That, that upgrade path that's really smooth. Um, but this is really interesting because, again, we have actually a pretty direct experiment of, like, does object orientation cause success? And he was like, well, I added object orientation and a stronger type checker as a bonus. That was not enough to cause success. Then I added a bunch more features and success. So uh, we have a very direct experiment as to like whether or not object orientation caused the success of C++. It's like, no, because when it just had object orientation, it was called C with classes, which nobody in this room had heard of. So clearly, not, not, not a causal relationship there between the OO stuff and the success of C++. 